Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel and a big welcome back to a brand new season for an Englishman abroad. We are currently out in Indonesia, still managing Suluk United and still chasing that AFC Champions League dream. So in the last episode, you'll have seen our season review, our season preview as we build up to this first game of a brand new season. Before we show you any match footage though, please don't forget to hit that subscribe and like button to help the channel out. I appreciate everybody that has been doing that. And if you've already done it, we're not going to waste any time. Let's jump on in and show you the team that will be playing against Hanoi FC. Okay then, so the first game of a brand new season is upon us and it is going to be in the AFC Champions League against Hanoi FC. So the lineup we are going to go with to start the brand new season is Francisco in goal, Aditya, Ardiancia, Quintana and Bakhtiar at the back. We've got Mawanto, Keiki and Stritton wide right. We've got uh, Gunter Hamid, who has been promoted from our youth team in behind Maya and Mersalim to see if we can kick off our Champions League in style. So then, here we go with a brand new season and a brand new Champions League attempt. We are playing in this fabulous all-purple stadium as Hanoi start in their purple kits. We are trying to win the ball in the middle of the park. We do that successfully. Maya's on the turn. Looks up, tries to get into the box, can get in there. And there is Rafley Mersalim to score the first goal of the game after four seconds. And the first goal of a brand new season. And our support is growing over on the far side. We have actually got fans in the stadium. Gone are the days where 13 was the registered uh, attendance here. Actually, is he back heel? I think he's back heeled that into the net in front of the goalkeeper. Just to be a bit of a piss taker. I mean, it doesn't matter how they go in the net, but... That was uh, quite a fancy finish. And then we are going to keep the pressure on here as Keiki to Stritham. He crosses it in at the back post. He's Moanto. And all of a sudden, our youth team players who have come through the ranks are starting to show up. Keiki. Oh, one thing I forgot to mention is that Keiki has now been at the club long enough to have got Indonesian citizenship. So, with this being his fifth year at the club, he now actually could play for Indonesia if they choose. And it is something that long term, if we could have a look at it and if the job becomes available, he would be a player that I would call up for the Indonesian national team. And we are running riot here. It's 11 minutes on the clock, 3-0 we are now winning. And we are currently topping the group with BG Patham holding Shandong in the other game. Nice bit of build-up play. Merselin finds Maya, he's into the box. And he continues where he left off last season with that 50-goal season by smashing the ball into the empty net and giving us a 3-0 lead. So another highlight here as the ball goes, ball goes back to the goalkeeper. Not dealt with, with by them very well. We get the ball, turn it around, and it's four. There is Stritham with a goal on his debut. And this is actually a lot easier than I thought. It's a little bit strange because in terms of last season, we beat them, I think it was 6-2 and 7-1. So I don't know whether this is a good indicator of how good we are in terms of how good our squad is or the players that we have added. But it seems that Hanoi are a team that are worse than us in this Asian Champions League, despite winning their own league every single season, it seems. When we do come across them, we are just wiping them aside. I mean, we're on the attack again here. There's 16 minutes on the clock. And we are really playing some good football. Quintana deals with it at the back. Oh, Dancy to Hamid. Hamid then plays to Mawanto. And Gunter Hamid has an assist for Mawanto, who's got two goals now in this game. Quintana dealt with the ball. Played to Dancia. Simple ball, really, up and over the top. Comes to Hamid, just lays it into the path of Moanto. Goalkeeper goes down early and he has just slid it past him to give us a 5-0 lead after 17 minutes. I don't know what's going on here because we are on the attack again. Quintana, Mersalim, plays it through. Hamid has the shot. He's actually run offside, but the goalkeeper had dealt with it anyway, so it would not have counted had the ball had hit the back of the net. But another highlight where... Hanoi just seemed to like lumping the ball forwards. They passed the blue shirts more than purple ones. And we are on the attack again here. Stritham into the box. Goes to ground. Nothing doing. I thought that there might have been 
some kind of check or the referee might have had a decision to make but nothing comes of it and then there's another goal that might have scored but this one won't stand as there was an offside in the build up 27 minutes on the clock this has been action packed as Hanoi now have a chance dealt with well free kick came in cleared it Moanto's off and up the line it's into the box He's had the shot selfishly could have squared the ball there goalkeeper goes to the near post saves it turns out for corner Keiki with the cross in, dealt with well by Hanoi, and then they finally break out from their own box. So, 42, 43 minutes on the clock, nearly at half time, carrying a 5 0 lead, and another wasteful ball forward there by Hanoi. And then goalkeeper turns it straight into an attack. But the ball is being knocked about here and the highlight is still going. Merslim is in, he's inside of the post this time. And the ball comes out, it's put out for a throw in. And we're in at half time with a 5-0 lead. Absolutely cannot fault the team at all. Everybody's just going to go straight back out on the pitch. Aditya might be one to look at because he's on a yellow card. But no reason to make any changes in the short term. Quintana has a free kick to Strittum. Plays it out to Moanto. He's on a hat trick, but instead plays it into Maya. And then somebody goes down in the box. Referee again doesn't even look at it. But we still have the ball. Keiki to Moanto. He's in. There's the hat trick. Third goal of the season. Keiki with the assist. And our left winger is proving too hot for Hanoi United. As BG Batham United have just took the lead against whoever the Chinese team were. I think Shandong. Let me try and have a look. Uh, BG Patham. Can't get that done in time, but either way, I saw, I saw BG Patham take the lead, and we are still 64 minutes in now. Moanto's just walking past these for fun. Hamid gets the ball, goes into the box, has the shot, hits it straight at the goalkeeper, and I'm going to. Do something silly. I'm going to bring on Amory. I'm going to bring on Hula in the middle. And I'm going to place this one to out of position. Just because he has a yellow card. And as we come back, Gunter Hamid has scored his first goal on his debut. This is a kid that was recommended to be moved out of our development squads by our coaches. Keiki lays it into his path, he smashed it first time into the top corner. And that's a brilliant goal to give us a 7-0 lead. And this seems a little bit easy. We've had 22 shots, 13 on target, and XG 3.54 and 7 goals so far. So we are absolutely playing to our potential, whereas I don't think Hanoi are playing to theirs at all. But they are trying to attack, and they've actually got a goal. Quang has scored to make it 7-1 in the 80th minute. Unfortunately, no clean sheet for us this time. But we are back on the attack. And Moanto has scored a fourth. He's got four in one game. So that's equaling that record that Muslim set last season. A free kick left-footed. Starts how far outside the post does that start? That's amazing as he swings it straight into the top corner and he really, if I had a substitution left, he should be coming off to get his standing ovation because he has been fantastic. He actually got awarded a 10 out of 10. So a great start to our Champions League campaign and our new season with an 8-1 thrashing of Hanoi FC. We are going to push forwards and play the next game, which will be against BG Patham United. Okay, so the second game of our brand new campaign will be against BG Patham United. And I am not even going to make a single change. The team that played last time out won 8-1. And I think that is the team that should go out and play in this game. So, it's Francisco, Aditya, Ardiantia, Quintana, Bakhtia, Mawanto, Keiki, Strutter, Hamid, Maya and Mersalin. Let's see if we can make it two wins out of two in the Champions League. Here we go then, we get the ball off and running and after the first 10 minutes of the game, nothing really happening here. We do seem to be on top though, although the first highlight is going to go to BG Patham United and they are going to swing the ball in, but we deal with it well. 
Myers on the turn. If he can play the ball, Hamid is in. And Hamid gets thwarted by the goalkeeper who gets down low to push the ball away for a corner. And Keiki is going to swing this corner in. And the threat of Michael Douglas is no longer there at the near post. But the ball gets played back to Keiki. He's had a shot from distance. He's put it in the side netting. Not a bad effort there at all. But it's BG Patham that seem to be the ones that are attacking. And then it's our counter-attacking that is doing us well. But they've got him behind. And BG Patham have scored. Polsong with the goal. It was a poor pass in the middle of the park to give them the ball on the wing. And they broke down the right-hand side. Got the ball into the box. And punished us with the opening goal. But we are looking to get straight back into it. As Merselim is in. And Rafli Merselim equalises pretty much straight away. It was a great finish there as he got played in alongside the defender. So Moanto comes in off of the left, waits for Mersin to make his run. Defender got caught square and he's just slid it in at the near post to give us an equaliser. So 25 minutes on the clock. This is looking like a pretty interesting game. BG Patham now have got the throw in and again it's that attack, counter-attack game that seems to be played here. As Hamid gets on the ball, Moanto's running at them. He's left all the defenders for dead. The goalkeeper comes out, gets caught in two minds, thinking that there was a cross coming, and the counter-attack has led to us taking a 2-1 lead after 28 minutes. Goalkeeper comes, and he thinks, oh, he's going to square this, goes to ground, and instead Moanto just smashes it near post. Maybe questions should be asked about the goalkeeper there. He's been beaten at his near post twice now, but... We don't mind that because both of those times have been for our players. So, we are looking good. There's 42 minutes on the clock and here come Patham United. Shot straight at the goalkeeper. Francisco deals with that well. One player that I have had a lot of faith in across the past couple of seasons is Francisco. He's a goalkeeper who really, I think, is underrated. Not sure whether he's been called up for the national team yet, but certainly the way that he plays for us, I'd have thought that he should. And then just as I'm praising him, he gets caught coming out to try to get a ball and doesn't get there in time. And it's 2-2. Not really what I was expecting. A bit of a sucker punch there. Hopefully we can get back on the attack, but it's BG Patham United who are in the penalty area again. They've had a shot that Francisco deals with. I don't think it was going in, but he's turned it around for a corner anyway. And then there's a cross that's come in. And the header goes up and over the bar. So, how long do we leave it before we start making changes? I think we're going to actually go now. I think I can bring Wadi on. Keiki's going to get a rest. Seems to be wilting a little bit. And then Huda can come on on the left because Moanto's... Looking a little bit tired. He's had a good game this time out. And I'm going to bring on Anger Amri up front to play alongside Maya and see if he can't get us a winning goal. With 15 minutes left on the clock, currently it looks like both teams are settling for a point. I'd like us to just be a little bit more proactive and try and at least get a winner. And Francisco is going to start the attack with the ball to Wadi. He plays it out. To Stritton, he's beat his man, he's found Huda in loads of space, and the ball nearly trickled into the net from a deflection. There's a clearance off the line which spurs a BG path and counter attack, but they can't do, do anything with it either. But there is another highlight here as BG Patham are on the attack, crosses keep coming in, the ball's hit the post. Luckily, the flag has gone up and it was offside anyway, so even if the ball would have gone in, it wouldn't have counted. But we've certainly had enough chances in this game to put it to bed. And we are going to come away from Thailand, it looks, with a point. So, two games in the AFC Champions League, and we have four points. That's a good enough start, I think. I think it keeps us top of the group with our goal difference, because Shandong have also got four points. But still, it's a great start to the season, and a great start to our Champions League campaign. So, we are going to leave it there. I'm going to push forwards and come back in a few games' time. And then hopefully everything will click into gear and we can kick on, win another Indonesian league and hopefully progress from this Champions League group. So, 
before I go, please don't forget to hit the subscribe and like button to help the channel out. But for this one, that's a wrap. A very big thank you for watching.